What's going on guys? It's Eric here and today is going to be all about this guy. This is a pearl free floater, 6.5 by 14, beautiful snare drum, all maple, and we're going to be changing out this head right here. I don't know what happened, but I guess I kind of just been playing the sonar, the Danny Carey signature for a while, and this poor guy got neglected and kind of just shelved back there. I came across it the other day and I pulled it out, tuned it up, and it sounded great. I forgot how amazing this snare is. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the music store, see what we can find, come back, and then tune it up, get it all going, and see what it sounds like. Okay, so it looks like we have some choices here. Um, HD dry, a heavyweight, uh, just a regular HD. I mean, I've tried most of these Evans. Uh, Aquarian, I know absolutely nothing about, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. Um, and then we do have some Remo choices. I think um, between the power stroke and the controlled sound, so what we're gonna do is flip a coin, heads is power stroke, and tails is controlled sound. All right, so this is a little difficult to film. <laughs> so let's see, heads, tails, a little hard to film, especially when we're in a store, but let's see. And it looks like we got heads. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get this guy off. Actually, get two of these going. Oh, shit. Well, not the best, but we're under a little bit of a time constraint. It's not the most thorough clean, but hey, it's a clean nonetheless. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I'm pretty sure that's not what they mean by seating. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go ahead and break this guy in. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do uh, full turns on each one following the pattern. And um, that should probably bring me close to where I wanna be. And then from there, I'll just go up down depending on it but more than likely I'm gonna go up a little bit so yeah let's go ahead and do that okay so everything um, is, is tuned up all around tension is even um, as you can see on my drum dial if you can see it I don't have a macro lens but it's about 85 all the way around yes I do use a drum dial um, and you should too no judgment here I'm not one of those uh, drummer guys from, you know, like a Facebook uh, community page that's gonna be like, use a drum dial? Oh, back in my day, we used to use our ears. Whatever helps you tune, whatever helps you get the sound you want, by all means, throw gels on there, throw whatever you need. As long as you're happy with the sound and it does sound good, then hey, who cares, right? I did tune this bottom head prior to putting this on. This is. Uh, it's pretty tight, uh, not super tight. Let's see what this guy sounds like.
Alright guys, so that's basically gonna do it for the Pearl Free Floater. Um, things to say about this drum. It is super, super sensitive. I mean, as soon as a stick even touches it, it just immediately like wants to buzz roll. So if you're into, you know, buzz rolls and intricate, you know, like ghost notes and stuff like that, this drum would be right up your alley. And I think that's due to the build of it. It's a super thin maple shell, and hence, you know, free float in the name. It has no hardware attached to it. So it just, it resonates like super, you know, loud, super easily. Thanks for hanging out with me guys, tuning this guy up, getting it going again. I really appreciate it. And until the next one, keep doing what makes you happy. Peace. Yamaha kit here. Let's see how it sounds. I'm probably gonna freaking get COVID from saying this thing, touching those sticks, but let's see how it sounds like. I rarely play inside my stores, but let's just give it a try.